Hello, welcome in, Scorpios. Hello, welcome. Hi, thanks. Hi, babes. How are you guys? I'm going to be doing your September reading right now and see what your energies are going to show up as. We're looking at love. Anything else might show up for you, okay? We have sometimes, the, you know, finances show up as a predominant subject matter for you during a certain month. Um, September is a really, really good month. It's uh, your free solar return, but you have to be um, September and October. You know, you're like very sensitive during that time period because it's, it's it may not be your side reel, but it may be your 12th house where the things that you need to work on are some of them. South Node and your 12th house, things that come out that you might have wanted to put on hold for a while will come out into the forefront and you'll just deal with them. I think you guys are so dignified and I thank you for being you. Appreciate you very, very much, Scorpios. You're powerful. I'm using the Lenormans to look at the background energies for Scorpio, Sun, and Rising Venus. Let me do a blessing for you. Infinite love surrounds you. Infinite love enfolds you. Infinite power courses through you. Infinite wisdom guides you. Where you go, God is. Namaste. Bless the Scorpios. Help me to read. For the Scorpios. Thank you so much. Okay. Spirit guides are here. Love is here for you. I don't allow any darkness into my space. As a matter of fact, I sell a, uh, a spell kit that breaks black magic. And uh, it works. It's um, very special. It's not witchcraft. It was I got it in prayer, which was uh, asking the Lord for some guidance on how to protect our auric fields. So he's given me some ideas. I have spiritual bath products. You will love very much. And they're powerful. And they're blessed. Okay. Scorpio. Oh, there they are. Good. Oh, by the way, this is the this is the Reiki symbol for prosperity. Going up, having your downs, being resilient, being creative, rising your vibration, raising your expectations, raising your uh, awareness of what's available to you, how you can use it, and how you can progress. You are moving very fast up. You are moving up, back up, and look where you are. So prosperity is yours right now, Scorpios. Just say, I want prosperity. My my, I want to be prosperous in whatever I do. I want it to matter. I want it to be, I just want to have my prosperity. I deserve it. I've been down long enough. You know, you made a rise and then you made a sudden drop, right? So prosperity is here to bless you, okay? I didn't know if you knew that. I, I'm a Reiki master, so I use these things as I go. I've got a few more I'm going to share later on. I'm putting joy on my hands because I think you should. <laughs> Anoint your hands, right? Your hands do a lot of sacred work. That's Scorpio. Or a clear sacred holy mist is... is uh, 11, 11 for these. Divinely blessed is to protect your spiritual practice. And since you are very high vibing, spiritual people, here you go. There's your prosperity. And love is very, very much around you. Scorpios, this is very nice. Complete. This is beautiful. You are attracting love. Look at that. And commitment. And you're getting the blessing of the divine to do this, too. What have you done? You've made some pattern changes. You've even gone and got some healing. Some of you have gotten married. Some of you have settled down and are nesting with your, uh, your loved ones, your patterns. And the beam of light is blessing your efforts. Scorpio, this has to be the best I've ever read for you. Now, as far as... Um, your power, your sacred power is right here. And your sacred power is that you know how to draw. You can draw love from any dimension. You know how to center your bodies. You do a lot of sacred work, Scorpios. You also are dealing with ancestrals. These little birds, look at the little birds. They look like robins in the tree. 
speaking your truth at the at the tree now i want to tell you that the tree of life is your temple it's where you go to pray it's where you go to manifest it's where you go to have conversations with the divine scorpio however there has been something in your path that causes you transgression it makes you feel like this is bad luck something something something's crossing your path and I'm going to look at that with the cards but you win because what you do is you stay in a high vibe are you hearing me Scorpio this is Aquarius so maybe it's an Aquarian that kind of brings you bad luck or causes you some grief I don't know but I know this is the card of healing at the tree of life you're doing amazing amazing work wow Scorpios Okay, let's go. Now, uh, I'm going to play use this deck for you, primary. The Erotic Fantasy deck for my Scorpios. Hi, darlings. <laughs> when you come in, please hit the like button. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Venus. All across the board, general collective energy for the month of September 2021. We're looking in to see what we can do to bring them their answers, their blessings, their energies. What they can expect, who they can expect, and what they might consider doing differently who's guiding let's see one second i need to turn on my fan come on light me up thank you okay scorpios hi so let's see what's coming up scorpio all right my darlings welcome in and cross watchers too, you know. I appreciate you guys very, very much. I even know some of you. Um, first card that came out <clears throat> is the King of Coins, and that's you. Scorpio, you're making the coin. You might be attracting another uh, a committed partner. Um, this is someone who also knows how to manifest. And this person is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, perhaps. But this is you. So you're in your highest stable place in September oh my god bringing in the coin all right all right wow scorps dudes I'm loving you I'm loving you I'm loving you here we go uh, but the devil the devil Capricorn devil's in the details Scorpio it's your trouble your trouble is with the dark side, with toxic energy, with someone who always has to put that knife in your side and twist it. Who the hell? It's Capricorn energy. Yes? My God. Jesus. Get off Scorpio's back. I command you to leave them alone in Jesus' name. I command you to leave them alone. Scorpio, wisen up. You just need to pay attention to what, what are your patterns. Are you just working for money? Are you accepting love? You're getting a lot of contracts. Whatever it is you're doing, Scorpio, you're making money and you're happy. You're getting commitments from people. You're probably doing programs. You're probably teaching. You're probably, um, you're doing your work. You're doing the hard work and you're being blessed for it. Yeah. And yeah, some of you may be moving and changing your patterns. You may be, um, oh, most definitely. Yeah. You're at the crossroads. You're trying to decide. You just want to be away from the things that cause you trauma and distress and into the places where you actually feel good about where you are, what you're doing. And if you have the space that you desire, I have that same desire too. A new space to work in and live in and whatever. But we have that desire. Now, interruption. Hello? Interruption. So we have to figure out how to get the hell away from that interruption. By the way, thank you for being here. I am a Scorpio, and I have a tr I have a stellium in Scorpio. I understand, babies. Here we go. The Nine of Wands. You have a lot of projects, Scorpio, or or love interests as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have a lot of love interests or a lot of projects. You might be tired, all right, but you're still kicking. You're still fabulous. You're still going. Oh my God. Oh my God. And your pattern is with your other person. 
This is some. This is a. a this is a dynamic of divinity. Both of you make money. Both of you have your calling. Both of you are grounded at this time. You're grounded in your patterns. Actually, the truth is, this is your energy. Scorpio, you have brought yourself into alignment in September. All right, we're going to look at the other people in your life too, but when we're looking at you, babies, you're making money, 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 and you're in alignment with your masculine, feminine self, and you're not going to let this shit distract you. Right? Let's see. Talk to me about the, the tree and the star. Now, we also have Taurus and Aquarius on the table. Right? What is going on with that? Show me spirit. Scorpio, Sun, and Rising Venus. I really love this deck. It's got kind of dreary-ish coloring, but it's very, um, very, feels very comfortable. I was going to give this away to someone, but uh, people have to uh, show up, you know. Love you. Here we go. This. The reason you're at the tree is you're crying and you're praying for relief. You're asking the divine to straighten you up. Get your, get your heart, everything lined up. Please clear my karmic debt, all of it. Please clear away all these relationships. Please line everybody up, universe and spirit. Get everyone on the same page. Let them feel like a star. You're a star right now. You're fucking kicking it. But in a way, you feel like, you know, you're left out in some things too. What is that spirit? A relationship. An intimate, perhaps. Um, also coins. Yeah, you feel like you deserve more too. You do deserve more. And, and I think a lot of that has to do with paying taxes. I have to face that shit, and it's not fair. It's like, wait a minute. I reinvested all that money in supplies, and you still want me to pay taxes on it? What are you doing, sending people to the fucking moon, or are you going to save people in Afghanistan? Stupid assholes in the government. I'm sorry. Truly, truly, I should be blessing them. I should be saying, God bless America, but I think they're assholes with a negative agenda, and every one of you deal with it one way or another. And it shows up in other people in our life, too. You have the Capricorn, which is possibly a thorn in your side. And you're like, why? Why is this a thorn in my side? Explain to me, first of all, this here. Lovers. Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. I want to tell you something very supernatural. Can I, Scorpio? I think you'll get it. Some of you have been intertwined with a very dark being who has nothing but bad luck because they do dark magic. This is a dragon. This is a demonic energy. And some of you were associated with it or are associated with it. And you need to examine that because this person is not normal. This person is possessed I'm telling you what I get. I am a minister. I'm a, I have these skills, right? This is someone who is very toxic in your experience. Um, share with me a little more on who that is, and then we'll go on to who's loving my Scorpios, who's what love has to bring you. We're, we're going to look at everything. Why should we miss anything, you know, Scorpio, right? Here we go. Why do we have this toxic dragon, this dragon here, always bringing Scorpio bad luck? hell is this? Show me who this is, please. Clear me, spirit. I'm going to use another deck to clarify it, too. All right. It's someone who doesn't love you. They don't have any, any emotions for you. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. They are a fake friend in disguise or a lover that did not, who scorned lover. Scorned lover? Keep going, spirit. They want to get victory with you. They they know that you're lifted up and raised up. They know this. What is it that they want? Please, spirit, show me this person's intentions. They want to make an offer to you. 
this is an offer you can't refuse. You know how the devil comes in, that negative energy. I've got an offer. Hey, kid, i got an offer you can't refuse. And Scorpio goes, bitch, I can refuse it. I'm grounded. I'm the star. What are you offering me? It ain't money. I don't want your money. I don't want your fucking money. I want success. Because with success comes steadiness. With steadiness comes income and love and consistency. But you, you offer me overnight success. There's your inner, there's your ace of wands. It's sex. Somebody just wants you for sex. And when you don't give it to them, they do some bad juju. What is it that they do, spirit? Show me. Oh. Oh, okay. This is a water sign, you guys. What they do is they do uh, negative love spells on you. I'm going to write that. Watch out for this person in September. Somebody's doing negative. They're, they're, um, they don't really love you. They pulled back their heart. They're just doing bad juju. Yeah. Spiritual work. See, I told you. They're doing spiritual work. They're doing incantations of some kind. Scorpio, no shit. They do not have your best interest in mind. There's a ten of swords. That's what they want. That's what they want. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah? Wow. It's the soulmate that you rejected. Two of Cups. See? It's the soulmate you rejected. And they're pissed. And they want to come in really bad. But they're not. You're not letting them. Because you're just fucking done. They're all anxious with you, but you're the magician. So what you're doing is reinventing your life, and you're letting them be. What's going to happen with this person? Scorpio, what do you guys do? Look, you're powerful, sexy, and people get a taste of you. Oh, my God. Especially when they're a dark, negative energy, uh, and their intention is just to use your vibration, just to use you. And you're like, fuck that. I don't get used. I am an, I'm beautiful. Yeah, you've made a judgment call, a magician, and you're letting that go. Yeah, but you're not talking to him. Yeah, you're not talking to him. Wow. So, whoa. Before I pull love energies for my Scorpios for September 2021, wow, 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 somebody is toxic and you let that go you went to the tree of life and said nope i'd rather sit alone and feel the shit that it feels like to be me because you didn't make me a solid offer and if you did it was not good enough it was wrong something was wrong you brought me bad luck i had to put you in a space bye i had to say goodbye i am the magician you don't fuck with the magician you don't fuck with the king and queen of coins you don't you don't fuck with them period. Who are you? Who do you think you are? Pisces is here. We have um, someone that just uh, didn't bring it up to you and then when they were around you, it kept you from following your path. So in September you might be realizing this with someone. You might really be onto it. I think you should go to your throne and be there. Really do your uh, high volume spirit work. Drink a lot of water too, Scorpio. You're going to need to keep yourself balanced. What else do the um, Oshun is here for you? Oshun, to co to bless your sacred water vibes. Yeah, that's Oshun and Ganesh for abundance. You have abundance. You're doing amazing. Don't you forget it. Stay focused, Scorpio. Stay focused, Kuthumi. These are this is where you go in to the temple and you stay focused on it. I would rather be out in the cult. I made a judgment call, and I'm a magician, so I made it happen. The whole outcome is complete, utter healing for everyone. I'm doing spiritual work on this person, by the way, to relieve them of this this uh, thing that happened because what they brought to you is bad luck and they, they just couldn't seem to bring a um, solid offer. And you said, well, I'm not just for your booty call. You got to go. See, you set your priorities right. Right? That person, very persistent. Yeah, fertility. Oh, the devil wants to infiltrate you guys. See? And so you're standing in your power. Scorpio, you absolutely fabulous beings. Do your thing. All right. Romance for my lovelies. Scorpio. Romance for my lovely Scorpios in September. Hugs and kisses, honeys. I get it. I get it, babies. Hugs and kisses. All right. 
May you have prosperity, all right? You're in a prosperous um, pattern now. Stay in it. Don't let anything sidetrack you. And most of all, a booty call, all right? Romance angels, we're talking to our Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, bless them. You need, they're very, you're very serious anyway. It's like, bitch, I can see you a mile away. Don't even try magic on me. By the way, you can have it back. Talk to the hand. I tell my guys to block you because you're nasty for me. Your intentions are not pure. You're not bringing me love. Go away. This new thing, though, new thing. You are keeping an open mind, Scorpios, at this time in September. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. We have very soon something's going to shift for you in the love department. What is it? Oh, they're flying, babies. Romantic feelings. Oh, okay. Hello. Somebody may be in your life also expressing love. Yeah, this one has un unrequited love. Some of you might, but that's what I see. One more, please. Love yourself first, babies. Your self-worth makes you more romantically attractive. And besides, you're doing this amazing work of integrating divine masculine, divine feminine in yourselves. Some of you are not. Some of you are, are doing bad juju, and I know it because I understand you can't fake out of it. You can't fake me out. You can't. We're going to pull a card for you for romance. This is soulmate energy coming. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will physically manifest very soon. Keep that romantic feeling within you, Scorpio. It's very high vibe in and it's natural for your vibe. Remember to stay in touch with your own vibration. Nobody else's. Don't try to please anybody else. You know those expectations are difficult. Let me have a nice circle for my Scorpios, please. Beautiful Scorpio. Beautiful, passionate Scorpios. Always take it for granted. Their energy is so powerful and people want to know why and how Scorpio does what they do. It's because you're ancient, ancient people who chose to tough it out again on the planet and come here and do what you do. And you have to do it the way you do it. You just take people's work as inspiration, but you do it your way. Never is there competition. There is no competition. People who create it are low vibrational. Do you understand? Unless they're playing the game. And that can hurt too because I can cross the board. Scorpio, your divine destiny. You ready? The divine warrior is within you, helping you to continue with a worthy path, even during times of difficulty. And when faced with a challenge, a true warrior will summon more of him or herself to the cause. That's what you did. Look here, man. Look what you did. You, you integrated. You stayed focused. Yeah. You integrated the mask of, uh, where's that? I had it in my hands. You have the king and queen of pentacles as your energy in September. Okay. Staying focused. Bring me more wisdom, focus, and intelligence. You are surrendering to the divine. The warrior within is great inner resourcefulness and determination. So you are absolutely getting a lovely reading. Do you want to see if new love is coming? Let's see if a what this love is before I let you go. Let's see. Tell me about the love that's showing coming forward for Scorpio in September. True love, positive love, the kind that sticks around, the kind that commits, the kind that really know, lets you know that you're actually in a committed relationship with somebody, some kind of committed relationship. What is it? Ooh, temperance, Sagittarius. Oh, you might like that energy. Some of you might like Saggy's energy. I do. They can't be contained, though. They're on a horseback flying, right? But there's this very nice temperance. You're going to be patient. You're going to meet somebody who's balanced. I have to I have to give this deck away. I can't. It's just too crazy. It's so thin that I can hardly use it. Holy crap. All right, I'm giving away my witch's tarot deck. The next person to order a reading off my website from the moment you hear this, it's going to get that. I'll mail it to you. Signed, boxed. All right. Witch's tarot is out of here. All right, my love. I'm going to be using these. Tarot grand, grand. Tarot royale. All right, let's see. Scorpio's love. Scorpio's love. Scorpio's love. Show me something. What do you see for my Scorpios? Oh. Oh, we see that. <laughs> Obviously. That's gone, done and gone. Yep. 
you're going to be changing a cycle in Jan in September. You're changing a cycle and you're going into better happiness. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius. And this person is, um, but you still have the devil messing with you. You still have a Capricorn and there's your Aquarius twice. So you will be dealing with Capricorn and Aquarius. You will have to main, manage those relationships the way that they are, the best way that you can. You manage it spiritually. You have the star card twice. So you definitely will be dealing with Aquarian energy and you're breaking bonds and, and things and you're opening up. You're starting a new cycle. You'll be calling in Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a new one. You'll be having fun. You'll be temperate. Many of you are watching your drinking habits, all right, and you're coming into love. So I want to tell you how nice it was to read for you. Um, very intriguing this month. Be strong and powerful because you are. And don't let negative energy or intentions creep into your space. If you, if someone's throwing bad juju at you, you need to double protect yourself. You know, I do Reiki and I can help you learn how to put a shield of protection around yourself. But I recommend that you uh, do a lot of praying meditation at the tree. Scorpio, I love you. Like, subscribe, and share. Comment, please, if it relates to you. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Bless you. Namaste. Bye.